Hey guys, welcome back for episode 6 of MK Don's Building a Legacy. This is the 100% live com series that I'm doing. And at the moment, we seem to be doing quite well. If you've been watching the previous episodes, you'll know how we've got to this stage. But let me just have a quick flick back to show you who are joining us for the first time today. In the last episode, we played Sunderland, got a draw, nil-nil. Uh, we also played Burton in the league, got another draw, nil-nil. We then lost to Southampton, 2-0 in the liaising trophy. Um, we actually changed the tactics up in the Southampton game and it really did pay to show how much we were going forward in comparison to the other games. So we used that tactic in the Bristol Rovers game, got the win, and the Coventry game, got the win with three goals in that game. And then we used it in the Rochdale game and got a 2-1 win there. So we go into this episode looking to possibly get as far as Rotherham. Uh, we might only get as far as Bolton. Depends how many games we can get fitted in within the hour. So let's crack on and hopefully we can shoot straight forward. So the next game up is going to be against Fleetwood Town. And hopefully we should be alright in that game looking at the position they're sitting in. Let's just flick through here and make sure that everything is as it should be. So Coventry Fleetwood next. We've just beat Coventry. Um, so hopefully, yeah, one all draw with Coventry. And after we got the win over Coventry, surely that's going to give us the sure footing we need. But we'll wait and see. Just wait for this to all tick by. Alright, some news items in here. Let's just have a flick through here. Team suggested team. We go into the game 5 4 favourites, even though we're away from home. We've got a good run of form going there, as you can see. Fleetwood have only got one win in the last five. Let's just. Anything else we need to know about? Skip the briefing as we always do. Like I've told you in the past many, many times, you'll hear me keep saying it. Only use the briefings when it comes to cup finals and vital games. Just going to praise Britain's performance in training. It's always good to give them a nudge in the right direction. Let's have a quick look at how the game's set up today. So the 12.45 kickoff is Accrington Gillingham. Not really an issue for us both hovering around that bottom end of the table. The games we'll want to keep an eye on will be Portsmouth game. Uh, they've got Bristol Rovers, so I'd expect a win for Portsmouth there. And Doncaster have got Tranmere, so really all three of us should be winning our games. That's not to say that that's a definite, so let's see how it goes. Right, so for the lineup in the next game, what are we going to go with? Mason had an awesome game in his last game. Um, how far off his gold went? He's coming back to training in six days, so I'll leave him for now. Probably don't need to change anything to be honest with you. Thompson's still got a niggling injury, he's five days until he's fully fit. So, yeah, we'll go with this team then. Let's just have a quick look at the opposition as we always do. So, they're going vertical tiki taka today, and they are playing a deep 4 2 3 1. Okay, hopefully we'll look alright once the game gets started. Players to watch out for, you've got Wes Burns on the uh, right wing for them, three goals and three assists in 13 appearances. Their top performer is actually one of their defensive midfielders, 
He's their top goal scorer as well, four goals and an average rating of 7.27. Healy's our top goal scorer now with nine in 16, nearly one every other game. We've got Nombre, he's uh, just come back from injury, eight goals and four assists in 12 games, so he's um, contributing one in one at the minute. And Britain out on the right wing, in the right wing back position, four assists. Just bear with me a second. I'm just going to send this through and get whoever's calling me while I'm trying to stream. Well, I guess real life things happen in live comms. I am going to need to go and pick my wife up, so I will have to make this a very quick live com because we do want this series to be a 100% live series. So if I just flick through to this. Um, get this done as quick as I can so I can go and do that. So with the magic of technology I'm back with a quick cut so we can continue this live series. Let's get back out there and hopefully the second half is as good as the first half. Let's see what happens. Looks like we're doing fairly well. New tactics seem to be working. No changes needed at the minute. I think once Britain gets down 70, then I'll uh, pull him off. There we go. I'm just going to give him a praise before I pull him off. And we will bring Britain off just because of fitness. And we'll give Botang a game over Gilby. He's not been playing for a long time. As you can see, his condition's at 50%. So we'll do that and see how that goes. <coughs> Swig of the old water, clear the old throat out. Again, Mason's played really well on that side ahead of Reeves, and Nombe has stepped up and played well as well. So, I think we've got the win in the bag again. It's a 2 0 by the looks of it, or we're going to get one last goal at the end. Nope, we've run out 2 0 winners. That gives us another three points for the season and the first three points of today's live com up next i think we've got a week to go is it 
So that game's actually left us four points clear of Portsmouth. Did they drop the game? They dropped against Bristol Rovers 3 0. Brilliant. So, whatever they do now, the, the lead of the league is in our hands. Brilliant. Let's give Mason a thumbs up. Quality chances you were creating in that game. Seven unbeaten now. And Saturday coming is Tranmere Rovers. And then we get our FA Cup off and running. See if we can get some sort of a run going on that. Just check out how we played in that last game. Majority of our attacks were down the right wing. 448 passes completed. Not bad. And Tramir looked like they're going to set up in a 4 2 3 1 formation in the deep. We've seen that a couple of times this season. Been a little bit difficult for us to break down, in all honesty, but hopefully. We won't have an issue this time. Have a look at how certain leagues are getting on after 10 games. Any major surprises? Chelsea down in 10th. Um, Leicester, 12th. Sheffield United, not faring quite as well as they have in real life this year. Arsenal, Arteta's come in there and he's outperforming the pep. And just skip for all this and uh, get on to the next game. All the boring bits out of the way. Um, it's difficult. It's difficult to know which players to start looking at to get rid of in January and where to bring players in thing is you've got a winning team do you really want to go messing it about in January Uh, backroom advice um, we don't have an assistant manager under 23 level okay. and he's not going to be getting that job assistant manager under 18 level and he's not going to be getting that job either um, let's work our way through Nothing showing there that we need to pay any attention to at the moment. Thompson's back fit again now, so he may be able to make his way into the team. Let's just have a look at his comparison. So Thompson, and we've got McGrendles in there at the minute. What are they like for like this season? So Thompson's definitely the better player on paper. Um, as far as stats go this season yeah he's been the better player this season so far as well not quite the goal threat that um, McGrendles has been but he's still early in the campaign I think all in all Thompson's the right man to have in there Easy win predicted for us, one to two on. I don't like it when you're that solid on. We could make it five in five though, so that'd be nice. Uh, we'll scout the FA Cup and see if we can scout for players in them positions. Start. Okay. Let's, um, well, it's in my memory, go to the mentoring and create some groups. Let the assistant assign the groups. So I'm just going to congratulate McGendall on that goal. 
That was the um That was a really good goal actually. Right. Um First manager of the month award for us in our campaign to make the MK Dons great. Winkle when pleased with Wild FM's award. Let's just work our way through here. Gonna skip the briefings. Always skip the briefings. Top goal, our top goal scorer is out with a bruised thigh, so that means we're going to have to find someone else to play up front in the next game. Nine goals this season, could be quite a miss that. Got an A-plus at the minute still. Board currently feel we're still doing an unbelievable job. I think we are as well, to be honest with you. Right, up next... Tranmere Rovers, let's get to kicking. Okay. Oh, no. Almost skipped for a bit too quick there. Um, so Healy or Low City can play. He's not going to be fit for another five days fully. Anyone else we can bring on to the bench for? Let's get a guard onto the bench. Let's get Walsh off for Paul. He can go on the bench as well. And I think that's all that we're going to need to do on that. Let's have a look at the opposition report. So they play a vertical tiki taka and they play cautious. It's just going to be a case of breaking them down. If we can break them down, we get the first goal, we'll go on to win this. Okay. Morris is lacking match sharpness. Or we've got another striker on the bench in a guard who could come on, perhaps in the second half. Players to watch out for from them. Up front, they have Stefan Payne. Three goals in 16 appearances. Not the greatest of return. And that is make him, that does make him their top goal scorer. On the left wing, they've got Kieran Morris. He's got four assists in 18 appearances. So again, not ma not massive. Um, and as always, Nombe is our top performer on the left, and Britan is the best at assists, five and sixteen. Right, let's see how we uh, line up here. Uh, come on, lad, show me. What you can do, keep running going. Not anyone really fired up after that, but I think it's what I wanted to say, really. We're doing well up to now. Why mess with anything? Just got to make sure we keep pushing forward, keep our foot on the gas and keep ourselves top of the league. So it's quarter of an hour in, nothing really to shout about at the minute. We just need to make sure we make it worthwhile when we get a chance. And that's exactly what Gilby's done there. Nombe into the box, his head that out. There's McGrandall's across to Gilby on the outside of the box and he's just buried that past the keeper. Second goal of the season for him, we take a 1-0 lead. And within minutes, we're up to 2-0, and it's that man again, Nombe, this time set up by top assist maker Callum Britton. 2-0. And like I said, I've said if we got the lead in this, I see us going on to win it. And I can't see anything that's going to change my mind now. So 
see what's next. 10 minutes in. All right, 10 minutes to go until half time. I'm just going to, because they're focused at the minute, I'm just going to praise our guys. Try and build a bit of confidence up, let them know they're doing really well. Just see it through till half time, and then we'll go in and come out of the second half and hopefully reproduce all over again. They've pulled one back just before half time. That could be a turning point. We've got to make sure we don't let it be a turning point. Half time, 2 1. All right, assertive. We've got to guard against complacency. Don't think the job's done. We can't let that happen. Right. Let's see what happens now. Let's see what happens now. 3 1. Alex Gilby's got a second of the game. How's that come about? Cross into the box from Britain. Gilby on the head, flying header, top corner. You'd have to be fantastic to stop that as a goalkeeper. Britain with two assists today, and he's proving why he's our top assists. And we're just going to have to have a look at who we're going to bring off now. Um, they're looking complacent. Let's, what should we say? Demand more. They're doing well, but with the fact that a lot of them are dropping their heads now to just think this game's over, we can't let them do that. We're going to get a guard on for Morris. Reeves on for Mason. And leave it at that. That's focused everyone telling them to demand more. Picked up a few yellow cards in this though. I thought we had a fourth then. For some reason I thought Reeves had got a fourth. Well, it's 3-1, it's finished at Stadium MK. Look at this, 29 shots to their 10. 59% possession, 41%. We've dominated yet another game. And just them little tactical tweaks seem to have done the job for us. Let's hope we can roll that through to the next game. Just have a quick flip through the fixtures. Portsmouth have dropped more points this time against Oxford. That now means they're six points behind us. Yes, they've got a game in hand, but six points is a lot to make up. Doncaster, on the other hand, got a 3-2 win over Burton with a 94th minute goal, a 94th minute winner. Cool, they got lucky. But at the moment, we are dominating this league and we look like touch wood we're going to be on for a playoff place at the very least with how this first part of the season has gone uh, praise performance from Gilby I'm just going to say it's brilliant in front of goal this time uh, Wilad FM lifts MK Dons few people expected MK Dons to be flying as high as they are in the league but the Dons have never looked back since opting to bring Sir Wilad FM to the club so that's five games one in a row in the league I wonder how many games I'm in there. You usually get um, a reference for doing 20 games with a club. That might have been that, what that was there. Let's have a quick look. Uh, my profile. Yeah, 20 games in, so let's have a look at the career stats. 
So you've been with us for all these games. We've got 20 played, 12 won, 4 drawn and 4 lost. We've got 31 goals from them 20 games and conceded just 15. 60% win rate. That isn't bad. Okay, let's carry on to the next game. Torquay United up next in the FA Cup first round. Now, usually, going up against the lower opposition, I would be resting players, but I want to try and get a good run going in this. So, I'm not sure how many players I'm going to drop for the Torquay game. I suppose it depends when the following league game is. Internationals approach, and do you think Thompson uh, deserves a call up? I'm not going to pry into anyone else's business, it's up to them. I think he's a great player. Oh, don't know what's happened to me there, I've got all uh, ghosty. Ooh. My face has gone all funny. Has it gone all funny on my profile? Yeah, it's got all funny on my profile as well. Well, that's me. And it's not really done anything, has it? Ah, oh, there I am. I'm back. Don't know what happened there. Right. Gilby May, team of the week. We've got Swindon Town in the Liège Trophy afterwards. We're already out of that anyway. So I don't think I'd mind just dropping that game completely. Knowing that we could get through this, get through the league, league, next league game and not worry about what happened in the middle. One to two on to win this. Talk here having a good run of it in their league, didn't they? Had a really bad start and then all of a sudden they've just started picking up win after win. Have they had any change of managers or how do you check that? Managers. Gary Johnson joined on the 13th of the 2018, so he's been there a year and 56 days. It's not that they've changed manager, they've just managed to get a form solid. Six in the Vanarama National League. I've had a couple of people asking how Bolton are getting on, so just to show you the league at the minute. Bolton have flew up the league table, um, currently in 14th, on 19 points, they'd be on 31 points, had they have not had that 12 point deduction, so Bolton are flying, in answer to your queries. Alright, what's next? Let's get this Torquay game out of the way and hopefully we can start battering teams again. No previous meetings between the two sides. Home game. Just wondering whether to go full strength against them or not. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go full strength against them. Drop Mason, get Reeves back in, he ain't had, had, he ain't had a game for a little while. How are they playing? Control possession. Might gonna be cautious. 
I think we'll get a goal or two against these. Okay, players to watch for them. Aaron Naman up front, seven goals in 12 starts. Is their top goal scorer. You've got Jake Andrews in the middle, has got six assists from 15 starts. And their top performer out on the left wing is Jackson Longridge. He's got 7.28 at the moment. You all know our team by now. Let's see if we can get through to the second round of the cup. Um, assertive. You should be winning this. Go out there and play the way that you need to. Not much has uh, happened in the opening 15 minutes. Getting plenty of shots off, but nothing that really causing a problem. Reeves has just had a goal disallowed for an offside. However, he has just made up for it. You know, got the cross coming in there from Davis. Nodded down by Gilby and in by Reeves. He jumped on that, marking his uh, game, marking his way back into the team today he's in for Mason and he's got the goal that might well put us well on our way to the win all over him at the minute 13 shots to none 61% of the possession seem to have everything going in our favour at the minute the problem is they're set up more defensive than they are attacking. So for them to be behind now, at some point they're going to start leaving gaps for us. So not a very full stadium at all. Looking at that. But like I said before, Milton Keynes has plenty of scope for um, players to come back. Uh, for fans to join up and um, start filling that stadium out. There's nothing really happening in this game now. It seems to have gone a little bit quiet. Just a solid performance, that's all we're doing. Looks that way anyway. Looks like they've just got solid performance. Gonna make a couple of changes just at the end here. Get Lewinton back in the captain. And a guard can go up front. Been quite disappointed with um, Morris. Especially seeing as how he's a player that's been loaned to us, we should be getting more out of him. And there's Cargill to give us a 2 0 lead. Put it beyond any doubt now. And, well, FA Cup second rule. I was just about to say second round, here we come, but they've pulled one back. There's a lot of space out wide there. Nichols did get his hands to it. I think he was unlucky there. Is that just a lucky goal that they've pulled back, or is there more to it? I'm just going to be on a little bit of tender hooks at the minute, especially with how many shots we've had and not put away. Come on, just finish the game, blow the whistle. That's it. Ooh, a little scare at the end there. Who doesn't like a little scare though? Alright, team talk. Good win, boys. Leave that over there.
So our under 18s have started finding some form. Declan Gibbs in that game. Um, and what the under 18s scheduling has been like. Fixtures, how they've been getting on. Yeah, they're not doing bad at all, are they? Fair enough. I don't think they're overly great. We've got blue a below average squad on the under 23s and the below average squad on the under 18s. That's what our finances look like. And if we look at the board, so failed to reach the uh, liaison trophy second round, so they're not happy about that. However, Reached second round minimum of the Carabao Cup, they're happy with. And FA Cup third round, they want us to reach. Well, we're through to the second now. And they want a top half finish in the league. I think we're well on for that in a minute. Satisfied that we're playing attacking football. Well, let's see what we can do against Swindon. Again, like I said, it's a game that I'm not expecting to do too much with. A win would be nice, but I'm more interested in seeing how the other games go. Although, looking at it, we've got no games coming up after the Swindon game. When is our next league fixture then? I reckon I could probably play a full team against them. Just have a look at the league fixtures. Um, we've got a full 11 days in between Swindon and Rodwell. Okay. Let's uh, see if, how much of a full team we can put up against Swindon. Just a quick well done to him. I'm gonna skip through all this, try and get some games out of the way again. Oh, what was the match analyst for Swindon? We are favourites going into the game. They're second in the Skybet League 2, we're first in Skybet League 1, so we should win, but uh, McGrandall's has picked up an injury that's going to see him out for five to six weeks. Um, don't worry about the injury, or, um, just focus on it. Who's going to draw us in the second round? Second round, Bromley. We travel to Bromley. Where is. They are in the Vanarama National League. Fair enough. And they're near enough rooted to the bottom. Certainly in a dogfight. Oh, I can't believe I've got an injury in the midfield. I haven't really been scouting anyone this first season. I just want to save the money and then worry about that afterwards. But look, as you can see, we can't catch Plymouth. This is just to keep our... Um, We've got Britain out suspended anyway. This is just to keep our form going. A grand out for Luke Thompson. He is only recommended for 75 minutes of action. I'm gonna get Davis off for Lewington. And 
can get Goldwyn on the bench instead of a guard. Healy is fit again, so we're gonna get Morris out again. Where's Thompson being loaned from? Norwich. Yeah. His contract expires in 2022. Hmm. He started at Swindon as well. Sure, there'll be no love lost there. Right, let's have a quick look at the opposition. Played them once before, and we got the win. Okay, let's see if we can make it two out of two against Swindon. Players to watch on their right wing is Lloyd Isgrove. Three assists in 15 games as well as three goals. That's their top player to watch. Our top performer now has been taken over by Jordan Halton. He's now the best average rated player on our team ahead of Nombe at 7.36 average rating. Seems to always do a job in that register role. I'm going to let the assistant do this team talk. Has anyone turned up to this game? That will be interesting to see how many fans have actually turned up. Didn't look like anyone was there. I suppose it's a game that neither team can do anything in, so it doesn't really matter about the outcome. I'd like to think a team such as ours would be giving away free tickets if they weren't going to sell them. At least that way we'd have people in there. So we've got Lewington on the left hand side. Nice back heel to Thompson, Nombe to Lewington, into the box and a header from Reeves. That's two and two for Reeves. And we're one up against Swindon in front of probably two fans. Second goal of the game, Lewington from the free kick. A direct free kick shot. Brilliant. That was a really classy goal. Lewington has grabbed the goal and set up a goal today. He's trying to force his way back in with Davis breathing down his neck. The captain's stroke. Tom Broadbent's got a goal back for him. Cross into the box and a header. Are we playing this game behind closed doors? I know I've mentioned it a couple of times, but there's not actually a single fan I can see. I can't, as soon as this game's... Oh, there's a few in the stands. Probably go off to the burger bar now. Get more entertainment. Although I don't think we've been that bad. I'm going to tell them I'm pleased with them. We haven't been bad at all. I can see from a uh, set-piece goal. We're still winning. We've played well. 3-1 um, now. Penalty kick from Healy. He's scored 10 goals now this season. That's double figures for him. First player to reach double figures for us in this save. Now the question is, do I take make some changes? I am going to make a change. 
and it's not because he's playing terribly, it's, it's at 6.6, .6, but this is a chance for Goldwyn to come back in. At the start of the season, when I compared stat um, attributes, he was my first choice, but we didn't get to see him. Because of injury, this is his first day he's able to come back after injury. So I suppose it'd be nice to give him 15 minutes just to see what he can do. Oh my god. He scored in what five minutes of being on? Through boots through ball to Goldwyn. Left footed from the corner of the 18 yard box into the bottom corner. Gilby has scored a fifth for us. This time it's Reeves that set him up from the corner, 5-1. And all of a sudden, I've said it before, but I think that tinkering with the formation and tactic has started to um, look fruitful, to say the least. Well, they were wrong, predicted a draw before the match. Where can I see how many fans turned up? Uh, I know I can do it in fixtures, so this goes to fixtures. And so the last one, look at this, look at this. Runner Greens. Last game, 1,710 fans. Well, that broke the bank, didn't it? I think that's probably the lowest attendance we've had. 6,000 in the against Torquay, even 6,000 bought by Torquay. 2,500 in the league against Fleetwood. 3,000. Oh, that's away from home anyway. Another home. Oh, we only had 1,000. At home for the dot uh, for Southampton under 23s. So not our lowest attendance, but I love this because doing this live, the amount of people that see me with all these greens and like, ah, oh, you can't be getting all them greens. You're doing something. You you're doing the old um, safe, quick, repeat thing. You've seen it happen. It, they do happen. Once you get a tactic for it, if you've got the right players, it happens. And it happens repeatedly. So up next we've got Rotherham. And then I think I'll get the Bolton game done. And then I think that'll be it. We'll call it a day. So Goldwyn scores on his debut, so that was his debut coming on after 66 minutes and scored within about 10 minutes of his debut. Where did he sign from? Blackburn on a free. It's a shame he started injured, but I think Nombe is going to have some competition for his place. Let's work our way through. Rotherham up next, and that is 10 days away, so we've got 10 days of skipping through to get through. This will be fun. Good job we've got the old background music on. Was that an injury? How long for? Uh, just one to two days. That's not such a good injury. He is only our backup centre back, so it's not too bad. He's out for four to five weeks. Don't worry about your injury. He is an excellent prospect. Well, I asked you last time if you thought we could get promotion after the way we started. It's um, looking like we possibly could. Certainly look like we're set for a playoff spot. Still early in the season though. Lots of twists and turns. 
sort of wishing this season away though so we can get to the championship and get to really battling how many times I think the Dons have only ever had one full season in the championship went up in second place in 2014-15 season come down in 23rd place 15-16 season so they were there for one year went up come straight back down Oh, he's on the cloud, I always remember him. Shame we can't use him for anything. Alright, let's see what's next. Walsh is now out for six to eight days with a twisted knee. Now he is our main centre back. And with Paul out injured as well, that could be a little bit of a problem. So he's going to miss the uh, Rotherham game. Hmm. It's the Bolton game that I want to make sure everyone's fit for. They're on fire. Had they not had them 12 points deducted, they would be really biting at our toes. I think they were only three points off us up had they still had them 12 points. So Rotherham are playing tonight as well. They're playing Sunderland from what just flicked up there. So they're going to have worn out players for this game on Saturday. And they've just been battered by Sunderland 3 1. And they've just sacked their manager right before I'm about to play him. So we're going to play a managerless Rotherham United next. Under 18 is a big talky, 3 2. Positive development for Britain. Let's uh, see who we can get in today. What lineup we should go with? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, uh, no early games today, so everyone is a three o'clock kickoff. They've got inconsistent form and lost their last game, and we're on a run of five straight wins for what the form table says. Walsh can't play, Paul can't play. Moore Taylor would be the next central defender. So he's going to have to start. Walsh will have to go on the bench and skip Davis on for Lewington. Um, Britain's still suspended so he can't play. We're dropping Nombe for Goldwyn. He had a good game in the last game. Right, quick look at the opposition report. They play a fluid counter attack, 4 4 2. Have to be careful about pushing too far forward. Players to watch out for from knees up front. Top goal scorer is Michael Smith. Five goals in 20 games. In 20 starts, I should say. And in midfield, we have Daniel 
Beleza, he has four assists in 20 games. No one else really standing out there as players I need to look out for. Let's see what we can do. Team talk, assertive, expect nothing but a win out there. A few more fans sitting in the stadium today than in the Swindon game. Let's hope we can score like we did in the Swindon game. Cool, five goals would be nice, wouldn't it? So we just got to make sure we don't leave ourselves too open at the back. They do like to counter-attack this team. So it started fairly even. They seem to be having their possession. I don't mind that. I don't mind giving a counter-attacking team the possession because they don't know what to do with it. We've got the lead. Thompson has got a goal. Halvan to goal win. Sets up Thompson who takes a shot from the edge of the box. And we get the 1-0 lead. Goal win on the... Uh, with the goal there. With the assist, sorry. Reeves has picked up a injury by the looks of it. What is the assistant saying? Suffered tight Achilles and we should be able to nurse him through. We're getting through to half time and see how he's feeling then. We've got the control that we want at the minute. Nine shots, so they're eight, and possession is in running in their favour. But as I just said, I don't mind a team that counter attacks having the possession. If they don't know how to attack with the ball, then it's better on having the ball than the fact that they know how to attack without the ball. If you understand what I'm saying there. Um, Reese is the only influential player I've got on the pitch. We've got highly influential players there. Um, let's bring Mason on for Reeves. And give him a team talk, don't get complacent out there. I think we've done well up to now. The second goal would obviously make us feel a lot more comfortable and offside. I was just about to say, as I say that, we've got it, but no, they have pulled a goal back now, though. Clark on the wing, into the box, headed, and goalkeeper should be getting that he was his hands were at the ball okay we're gonna have to demand more out of it let's demand more come on you're at home don't let me down Maybe should have been cautious with the fact that they're playing this counter attack. We've got the second goal. Ben Goldwyn, he is turning into a uh, first class player for us. I keep calling him Goldwyn, he's Goldwyn. Look at his name. Now, what do I do? What to do? Gilby's not playing well. Okay, let's get Gilby off Botang. And let's get Nombi up front. Because he's in natural position. Let's confirm the subs. And the second we get a chance. I want to go to a cautious setup, so 
we can start countering them. And I just want to tell them to show some passion. Just to see how this game, show your passion. Show what you can do, show that you want to be the team that wants to win this league, can win this league. 3 1, Sam Nook. Nombi's actually scored playing up front now. Help them with the ball through. And there's Nombi to get on to the end of it. Now, this is an interesting theory. Do we start playing him up front? Because he might have to drop out so Goldwyn can get in. Something to think about. Predicted a draw before the game, but we got the win, so that puts. Ah, yeah. James Hayward, you're wrong. The Dons were going to win, and they did. Very happy with that, boys. Bolton Wanderers up next. The team that are probably the most informed team above anyone else. So where are we now? Top of the league. Played 17. 112, 40 points. Portsmouth played 16, 110, 34 points. So even with three points in the next game, they're still going to be three points off of us. Matt Reeves is injured. Just one to two days, so. We praise Thompson's performance. Passing with a joy behold. Six straight wins for us. It's the form team versus the form team, and we're going away to the University of Bolton Stadium. I can see this being the game that we drop. I don't want to drop a game, don't get me wrong, but I just see it being the one. Coming up over against a very informed Bolton. Hmm. not bothered about what they've got to say. So Bolton are actually favourites going into this. Now this is something that's interesting. We haven't come up against a team that's favourites against us for a little while. Closing in on new record winning run. Dons have won eight matches on spin, keeping up their tremendous formal seed and break the previous record for consecutive victories. The existing record is also eight. So if we beat Bolton, we're already setting records at the Dons. Wow. Oh my god. How long have I been at the Dons? My current contract. Let's have a look at my current contract. I signed on the 24th of June with a one year contract. Five months on? Wow, five months and they want to offer me a new deal. A two year deal this time. Is that a wage rise as well? Yeah, they want to give me an extra couple of hundred pound a week as well. The philosophies don't look like they're changing. Okay, start negotiations. 
I'm up for that. Try and get a little bit more out of them and an extra season. We're not close to agreeing on acceptable terms. I don't want to push him. I mean, at the end of the season, they're still going to offer me another contract. I think. Oh, I'm just going to accept that. For now. New contract signed, so we will be manager until the end of 2021 season. So that's uh, just under two years away that we've signed up for 2,400 a week. If only. Right. Passionate. Delighted to have signed the deal. I'm absolutely loving it here. And it was a no brainer to stay even longer. I could have got that deal if I was sitting in 10th, where we're expected to be. No, I don't either. The perks of doing well. So we can afford to play a strong side, even if their fitness ain't up to it. We've got Bromley in the cup next, so... This is all about going with the strongest possible side. Right, Britain in. Walsh in. Houghton, Gilby, Thompson, Reeves, Goldwyn, Healy. Okay, I'm not sure whether I want Reeves in though. With what Mason was able to do. Gonna go with Reeves. I mean, the other interesting thing is, do I put Sam Noble up top? Um, hmm. Let's have a quick look at their. So they play on the wings. So I'm gonna have to be careful of both of these. Who's the better defender when it comes to Lewington? It's not very pacey though. If their winger's a pacey winger, Lewington's going to get caught out. What's Britain like at defending? He's not brilliant. Um, Williams in comparison at defending. I think he's a more solid defender. Let's get Williams on the bench. Lewington's not even going to make the bench. Right, that's how we're going to go. Hopefully. I know we're going away from home, but hopefully we can make the most of this. None of their players are their standout players, so I'm wondering whether they've got standout players on the bench for today. Okie Koki, Team Talk. Expect nothing but a win. Keep our good form going. Right. was in two minds whether to go cautious into this game or just go positive. I've decided to go positive. It's got us to where we are in the league. I mean, bowling, the only reason I was thinking going cautious is because of the form there as well. We've got the 1-0 lead and it's got... 
Gladwin. Keep calling him Goldwyn, his, his name's not even that, it's Gladwin. Gladwin has got the goal for us. We must learn these players' names. So we've got the 1-0 lead. Let's see if we can continue that. They're out shooting us at the minute, but we've got the possession. They are going to attack us down the wings. We know their wing play is where they're, they're best. We've got a 2 0 lead now. Now we can look at mixing it up a little bit. Reeves beats the keeper at the near post. So now we've got the 2 0 lead. Do we mix it up by going cautious? Or do we just keep it the same? Just gonna praise them. I'm gonna send them cautious. We'll see how we get on with cautious, see if it starts looking like we're being over attacked or whether we're just holding firm. Very happy with the way things are going, keep it up. Just have a look at the analysts. We're not letting them get wide, so that's good. Um, quick look at the stats. They're creating the better chances. Let's stick to a cautious mentality for the second half for now. I'll be happy with just finishing at 2-0. Oh, we've got a third. Reeves, assisted by Healy. So how's that? Healy back to Reeves. The keeper should be doing better than that. Now, I don't want to get overexcited, but the boys have got to know that they're doing well. And cautious mentality at three goals up with only half hour to go. Surely we can see this out. We've got a lot of yellow cards though. A lot of yellow cards. I've got a feeling I'm going to need to take a couple of these yellow card players off. Um, 20 minutes to go. Doing so well at the back. Let's get Britain on. Because they play down the wings, I'd rather see no yellow cards on the wings for us. So I'm, I'm just going to make the one change. You don't need to make changes. Sometimes I overcomplicate things by making constant changes and I get to a certain point in the game like the 70th minute as you've probably seen or the 60, between 60 and 70 minutes and feel like well, I've got to make two substitutes and then it ends up going down the pan just praise the boys again keep that confidence up fired up we've got fourth Healy this time and it's the man we've just brought on, Britain, that's given him the cross for it. Oh, that's a nice whipped cross onto his uh, right boot there. Well, both these teams come into this having won their previous four games. They were the form teams of the league, but we've just pushed them to a side. Very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Uh, 
and after the games this weekend what happened with Portsmouth a draw against Fleetwood nil nil we are now 8 points clear at the top of the league yes the chasing pack have a game in hand but at worst we've got 2 games leeway at the top of this league now that's brilliant right just give him a quick pat on the back on there um, just go back here show you where we're at so as I said eight points clear at the top of the league we are still running out an A+. Plus. Um, we've just signed our two-year contract extension. Um, so that's guaranteed to keep us to the club, at the club until the end of 2021 season. The finances still seem to be doing fairly well. So yeah, all in all, another great episode. Just going to shoot back to show you where we began and what we've got to so in this episode that's what we've had Fleetwood, Tranmere, Torquay, Swindon, Rotherham and Bolton we've brushed them all aside nice wins all round well thank you very much for joining and watching us guys like I said before please do subscribe to see more of these videos come up on your channel as, you, as I produce them and give us a like just so I can get seen a little bit more by everyone else. Thank you very much guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.